Hey y'all, Michelle here, and welcome back to My Designs in the Chaos. Today, we're going to be learning how to do a larger than matte project on your cutting machine. Let's go ahead and let's dive in. Hey y'all, in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through step by step how you can cut a design that is larger than your 12 by 12 or 12 by 24 cutting mat. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right up here and we're going to actually open up our file. Okay. And when we open up our file, it looks like, wait, what happened to my huge mat? That's okay. It's just because of the way the file was sized. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here and we're going to, to our um, page setup and we're gonna change the height of our mat back to 24, okay? Now, from here, what we're going to do is I'm going to draw a circle that is the same size of the wooden round that I'm going to be using. And so I'm gonna be using a round that's 22 inches across. So I'm gonna make my circle 22 inches. And the reason why I'm doing this is that way I can use it as a guide to be able to tell how big I want my design to be. And then I'm actually going to take that circle and I'm just gonna make it like a really light beige. You could do a brown color if you want to give it the look of wood or you could have it be bright blue. It's totally up to you. I just like to have a color on the background so I can kind of see it a little bit better. And then from here, we're just going to send it directly to the back. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my design and I'm gonna size that appropriately on my wooden round so that I can see how big do I want that design to be. Again, I'm making this proportionately bigger. So rather than um, you know pulling out on the side or pulling out on the bottom, I'm just using this bottom corner to be able to adjust the sizing and that way it stays proportionate, okay? So from here, that's looking pretty good, but it's a little bit off center. So I want to select my design Hold down shift and also select my circle. Go over here to the right to the align and I'm gonna horizontally align it and I'm gonna vertically align it. And now I can get an idea when I do my wooden round, you can see it really well here. This is what it's going to look like. Now, what I need to do though, is I need to create a little registration mark or a circle right up here. You could do a circle or a square. It really doesn't matter like what the shape is. You could do a star if you want. You could do a triangle if you want. Um, but you need to have some sort of a shape that your machine will cut so that you will be able to tell where um, to line this up. So I'm going to make it blue just so that it can stand out a little bit. And I'm going to put one right on the bottom as well. And then I'm going to select both those two circles and the um, circle behind it and the design. And we're going to make everything line up right in the middle. Okay. So now I've got my two registration marks and that's going to be what I use to actually line up my design when I place it down on my item. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this onto my mat and I'm gonna place it right here so that the circle is just on the edge and I'm actually going to have my machine cut this round circle part so that when I put it on my wooden round, I can just line up the edge with the edge of the round and that way I'm assured it's in the middle. And so what I'm gonna do from this point is I, you wanna make sure is your registration mark all the way on your page because that's very, very important that that part gets cut. You also wanna make sure that this edge is on your page as well. If your item is even larger than this, you might have to do this, have multiple registration marks, and that works too. So from this point, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the send option. And you'll notice the only part that's going to actually cut is the part that's here on your mat. So you'll want to make sure everything is selected, and you'll want to click on cut, and then you will adjust your um, blade. I typically like to have mine at a three with my force of about a 12 whenever I'm cutting stencil vinyl. I'll need to make sure that my machine is hooked up to be able to um, cut the design. And then I'm going to send the first piece to cut. So now you can see that my Cameo 2 is ready and I'm going to click on send. And I'm going to go ahead and put my stencil vinyl down because that's what I'm going to use to paint my wooden round and I'm going to put that down on my mat and I'm going to go ahead and cut that section. Now once I cut it I'm going to go back here to the design and I'm going to shift this over to the other side and when I shift it over I want to make sure that both these two registration marks are on the mat to be able to be cut. And then I want to make sure the other half of my sign um, fits over on this side. Okay, so I'm just basically everything, these registration marks have to stay in the exact same spot that they were in before 
in relation to your design. Not necessarily on the mat, but in relation to your design. And we're just gonna move them over to the other side. And now I'm gonna go to send, and then I will send my second piece of stencil to my machine, and I will cut the second half of it. Again, I like to use a um, blade of three, speed of about a five, force of 12. My machine is ready, and now I'm going to send it to cut. And from here, what I can do is when I go to apply it, I will line up the circle from the first half and the circle from the second half, and I will make sure that those two are directly in line as I place down the stencil on my board. Okay, let me know if you have any questions, and I can't wait to see your larger than matte projects cut and um, put into action. Bye. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe below and hit the bell so you can be notified on our next weekly video. See you soon, guys. Bye.